What's going on, everyone? Another coaching session here. This time it's with GBL Mulder. You may know him from the chat, but he wanted me to look over some of his battles. So let's just get straight into it. Today he is doing Ultra Premier Classic. So Gary Natokias, this is not what you want. He's staying in because he does have Waterfall. All right, so he throws it. Perfect time. Oh, I thought it was good timing. Gotta love the leg. So with Aqua Tail, this is a little bit of easier of a matchup for Gary than it used to be. And he should get to this right before. Correct. The Togekiss is probably looking to just farm down. But he gets the shield, which is huge. Oh, he threw. He got the CMP on it. So it doesn't shield. Perfect. Good job, Mulder. So the Ancient Power goes off. So he's probably going to just bring in his Metagross. Farms him down. So now he has two bullet punch of the energy. So he has 14 energy on that. But in comes the Excadrill. Will he try to catch it? He does try to. He catches the drill run. Beautiful. So the drill run lands on the Dragonite. Does nothing. One, two, five. So this is an easy shield. And the Excadrill is probably not looking to switch out at first. So in comes the Snorlax. So this is very easy. You just go up to two. Oh, okay. So Mulder, I personally would have just thrown Dragon Claws. Because you you try to pull shields. I don't think the Snorlax is going to shield. And then... So I wouldn't shield this. Beautiful. Because... You're going to need your shields for this. This is a, that's a 50, 50. So then that goes down. So he goes, that's a beautiful amount of energy that he has now. So I'll throw the meter match right there. Beautiful. Yep. And I was going to say, you put him, Mulder, you did that great. You put him in the the scenario where Meteor Mash, even though it is resisted, it still does a good chunk to Excadrill. So you put him in the place of shield. Like, he, you, he knew that you had two Meteor Mashes. So even if you just landed both of them, you were fine. You didn't need to land the Earthquake there. Well played. I need to adjust this a little bit. I thought I had it right. But yeah, Mulder, there are not many things that I had wrong with that. Because you, like I said, you put them, you did the reverse farm technique where you put them in the position of you had an energy advantage on him, even though your moves were resisted, it still hurts the Excadrill because the mole is squishy, people. He's strong, but he is squishy. So let's go to the next one. Oh man, why is this? Okay, so I gotta set this up, move this again. Just gonna do this on the fly as I go. So the battle's starting. I'm assuming that this is gonna time out. So it perfect. There we go. So we got Gary and the Drag or Gary and the Metagross. This is gorgeous, especially with Waterfall. Gyarados just wins this. Without Crunch, it's a little it's a little harder. So even though the Meteor Mashes are going to be resisted. It still hurts. So he shielded that, even though that was a clear Aqua Tail, which is beautiful. 
I would assume Mulder doesn't shield this. Nope. Perfect. Psychic. A lead Metagross with that. Good timing or good control on that. So now you're up a shield. You get the Dragon Tail through. A easy shield in my mind. All right. I would have, Mother, I personally would have shielded that. Because now if you would have, all right, so we're going to pause that for a second. So if you would have shielded that, it put him in the scenario of he, if he wants to win Switch, he has to use both of his shields. So then you would be up. So you'd be up a shield, even though you trade it or you kill it. And then the Metagross has to come back in and throw something on your Gary again to kill it because you had the move banked. So I personally would have shielded that move. Because, yeah, because now he just can do that. So, but now you bring in the Metagross. So a two shield Metagross is disgusting against the meta. So he brings in his own Metagross. So that immediately should tell you that he has something that's weak to the Metagross in the back. I would shield this. I know that this probably isn't an Earthquake, but I would still shield it. He actually threw the Earthquake. Two, three, four, five. So the throwing the Meter Mash, don't need to throw Earthquake with the Metagross at this much health. I really like that play because the chance that it's going to be something like a Togekiss or something in the back is very high. Kill this, have a lot of energy and a shield, and it's a Togekiss. And he just should quit at this point. Beautiful. Good shit. Go on to the next one. Sorry guys, I have to adjust these each time. So Dragonite, this is not a good lead, so I'm assuming he's going to switch immediately into his own Dragonite. So a Gyarados comes in, and he throws out throw there, beautiful. And it doesn't shield because it doesn't have to, sadly. But now you will pull a shield here because he didn't throw. He's trying to go for the farm down. I'm assuming you're going to pull a shield. Yep. So now you can safely bring in the Gary and farm it down. No shield needed on this. Outrage. Doesn't matter. You might, you could have maybe waited a little bit longer for the switch. So now you have two shield Metagross once again. He's not switching. So no matter what, I would shield the move that he's throwing. And I personally, Mulder, would not have gone to throw the move. I would have just went until he threw Draco. I do like this now, but he has no incentive to shield. You have no incentive to shoot, pull a shield, and then now you're, because now you're facing it one shield even energy. I would just go straight earthquake. Beautiful. You might have just a one bullet punch advantage if that I couldn't I didn't see closely on that. Yep. So he's probably gonna bait, but. The sad thing is, you still have to fucking shield it.
The only problem with this switch is he's just going to farm you down now. Or as I say, he's going to go for the farm down. But I think this might be enough. That's fine. Meteor mash. Boom. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so I got to figure out why this keeps changing. Sorry, give me one second, everyone. Get this lined up before the battle starts this time. Yeah, it's close enough. Let's get on to it. So this next one is Metagross Golden Lead. Let's see what the opponent switches into. If he stays in again, don't know why people do this. All right, so obviously I wouldn't shield. I like that you built up to the, or you're building up to the crunch to threaten the crunch. Yikes. So I wouldn't throw anything against that. I would have just immediately switched to Dragonite. Yeah, and that's why once you go try to go for double, he just gets to it so fast and Hydro hurts. Maybe I miss, I guess there's a couple of this could be. No, yeah. I mean, that's very easy now. You just farm it down. And I personally would go, oh man. So yeah, just double Dragon Claw. Because Dragon Claw hurts Mammoth Swine. Dragon Claw, shield, good deny. Yep. I was gonna say he has to throw because he's gonna get scared. So now it's an easy bring in Metagross, get the energy advantage. Three. So this sounds weird, but oh, I wouldn't have switched. I mean, that works too, I guess. So, yep, beautiful. Let that go. I was kind of surprised that he shielded that. And then, yep, you just... You can do that, or you could have just went for the confirmed. With shield up, you could just have easily shielded. I was going to say, he probably wasn't going to make it to the move. I think he would have been one short, but either way, you got the win, so that's all that matters. Okay. On to the next one.
So Mulder, I am noticing that you have this affinity to switch back to your Gary when the last Pokemon's going to use your charge move. You're really focusing heavy on your Gyarados. And in my mind, that's not like you're winning the games, but it's not as big of a win as it could be because a two shield energy advantage Metagross, which you're getting your Metagross into a lot of situations with, is terrifying in this meta. So I would argue that some of those times you could use it as a third shield, even if I understand that even if it has a move loaded, it's better to just throw the throw it as a shield on the throw it as a third shield than it is to try to get off that aqua tail because the higher up you get people are going to count and once they know that it's just an aqua tail a lot of people aren't going to shield it. like that the one game where the metagross shielded the aqua tail once you get higher up people are going to know the counts for everything better and they're going to know there's like that's an aqua tail and they just won't shield it and then you would have been in a really bad position See if we can speed up. Here. Mason 11234. So we got Gyarados into Snorlax. Kind of a neutral matchup. It's kind of weird that someone's running a Snorlax in the lead. Let's see how this plays out. Let's see what he does. Let's see what you do. I like getting the waterfall in. That's always beautiful. And then the double aqua tail. No, no need, no need to shield. See, like, so this is so. Granted, we've only seen his first Pokemon. I can he shield. So I wouldn't shield this, no. Because this the Snorlax is gonna be energy dry now. And you should live this enough. And beautiful. I was a little bit worried with how much health you had and the way that the game operates that that might not have worked. And he get both shields. So now this is an easy, just bring in Snorlax and farm. Yup. Don't need to shield this. Body slam. Even if it was super power, it's not worth it. Did he just bring a mammoth swine into this? Is it a toga kiss in the back? I'll be shocked if you don't win this game. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That might have been a misclick. That was weird. GG's trainer, thank you for the battle. Edson Scissors, Sylveon, this is not good, but you can't really switch out of it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. As weird as this sounds, I would have went to the Outrage. And I just would have thrown it. Because the Snorlax isn't going to shield. So, okay, hold on. There's, in my mind, there's two plays you could have done there. You could have thrown the Outrage or just switched to 
your um, Dragonite right away because your Dragonite does not want to see the Togekiss and your Gyarados doesn't really want to see the, or not Togekiss, the Sylveon, and your Gyarados doesn't really want to see the Sylveon. So somehow you want to get alignment onto the Metagross or your Gyarados with energy. So either throwing, because you could have either thrown the Outrage to really hurt the Snorlax, farm down the Snorlax, not throwing anything, letting him throw his energy on you, and then throwing the Hurricane on the Sylveon is one option, or immediately swap out to your Dragonite, just win that matchup, and then um, let your let your your Dragonite go down to the Sylveon because it's going to wait clock out and bring in Garrett or er, Metagross, and then worst case scenario you have. A bunch of energy on the Gary in the back for whatever's in the back, also. Dragon Claw. I'm not really expecting a shield out of the opponent because he has the Sylveon. Nope. Yeah, because put it throwing just the Aqua Tail kind of puts it at this weird health point where you, you might have to shield to win this switch. Because he gets it. Oh, he was one short. But you're not at the hurricane either. That's my problem. And the charm went through. And he still shields it, though. So that's perfect. Leg. I mean, there's not much damage that was going to go through either way on the Sylveon, so that's fine. Wait the clock out. Oh my god, I love this man. So at this point, I would, no matter what, I would invest the shield to kill the Crocodile. Because he's going to shield and look at how much, yeah, yeah, I mean, this is an easy shield. A uh, crooked eye on the back. I really want it. I should run that. And the defense ball doesn't matter. Yep. GG's trainer. Thank you for the battle. But you see what I'm saying now? With that scenario, if you wouldn't have thrown anything, just w like won the Snorlax Dragonite matchup, um, you would have had your loaded you'd have had your loaded um gyarados your loaded waterfall gyarados onto the crocodile so then you can just strip shields worst case scenario and then you have your metagross on the sylveon like like i said you won either way but it was it's still it would have been a little more clean Soy 1717. Gary into Excadrill. This is, I mean, the rock slides hurt, but his fast move is not going to do anything. And those waterfalls absolutely chunk a mole. So I wouldn't shield this first one. I know that sounds crazy, but. Because one doesn't kill and he switches. Nope. Just get out. Perfect. 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 Throw the dragon claw right once you get it. Cause you wanna you wanna try to force him to shield. And he earthquakes you. At this point, once I saw earthquake, I would farm up. Yeah. I would arguably farm this thing down. Because, once again, you have two Pokemon that the Mud Shots don't do anything. He can't farm your Dragonite down with that. This Hydro Cannon's still going to leave it just barely red. Dragon Tail went through and just start firing Dragon Claws at it. Yeah. These Dragon Claws, even though it's a mole and it's resisted, it still hurts. So he's going to have to... 
and now you got two, he doesn't. So now you're sitting in a scenario where you have energy, you have a bunch of energy on two of your Pokemon and a Metagross, and you just took out the Metagross counter. So I don't know if you're going to be able to get this next Dragon Claw off. How much health did you end up having? You got enough. See, I wouldn't have switched there. I would have, I would have just saved the Metagross for the end. I understand the play of what you're doing. But I think that you're one Dragon Tail away on your Dragonite. And I don't know if you live it. So I would have tried to gotten it once you could have. If that makes sense. Got that through. No shield. Beautiful. Crunch. It's. I mean, it sucks, but you don't want to shield it. Because he has to shield this. The only problem is that he he's, he's going to come out with energy unless he throws. Is this a throw by him? I'm surprised you actually live that weirdly. So that one, I, I'm not positive. Let me play that back. So he shield that. I think he lost some turns there. I don't think that you should have lived that. Like to get to it with that. If you look at this. Okay, so this is where, this is where your health started. And then by the time you got to Yeah, I think he missed out on a bunch of fast turns there. But whatever, GG's trainer, thank you for the battle. So Garchomp, see what the, see what he's running, Dragon Tail. 3 Four, five, six, seven. I like CMPing on this. Easy shield. Even if it's a sand tomb. Yeah. Because now you're threatening him. You'll probably see one in return. and throw around so you get it that should be another sand tomb no need to shield is he gonna shield this you gotta hit your bubbles man two so then obviously bring in dragonite I guess it could be a 50-50 on it if you should bring in Dragonite or Metagross because the energy on Metagross might be good. And I think the energy on Metagross would have been good there because he wasn't going to get to a move by the time you farmed him down. And you have an advantage. So if he shields the this is the horrible thing about Master, is if he shields it, yeah. I don't know why that cut out. Don't know why that one cut out. I was going to say, I think that... I don't know how that ended, but... That wasn't looking the best for you. Because he probably would have, because you baited, so he, 
he you baited but he called it so he probably just went double earthquake and then it was just kind of over I, being the fact that it was up on energy, I probably would have just gone straight Earthquake. Metagross, beautiful. Three, four, five, six, seven. So he's going over, and it almost makes me wonder if this is going to be another Psychic one. So he shields it. I wouldn't shield even though it could be a psychic. That so yeah, I mean I wouldn't shield there. But now you get to farm down. So obviously no shield. So now it's even shield. You're going to have an energy advantage on Gyarados. What will be the next? Dragonite. Yeah. I was going to say he was, he was going to outpace you. You just needed to switch right away to Dragonite. Now I would just shield and farm down. I do like this play, but it's a little dicey. Could be right. I mean, this isn't a good scenario for you. Because you can just go double, you can shield this, go double Meteor Mash, as long as he doesn't catch on his Metagross. Because he's going to need three moves to kill you total. So there's... This is going to be really tight. I don't think you can win. I don't know if you can win this one. Yeah. He's just, he just spams so fast. Maybe the only way is if he... Yeah. Our chomp, dragon tail or mud shot. Actually, hold on one second. We're gonna go back through this one. Okay. So I think the first mistake in this was shielding the first move, because especially because you got one, and you get to this move before him. I would have not shielded the first one, thrown the double aqua tail. Because he you pulled the shield with the first one, let me do that. So this is where he'd be sitting by the time he got to the second meteor mash. So now he's energy dry, and then I would have, like I said, I would have switched immediately to that. So, in theory, if you would have not shielded the first one, you would have almost killed. You could have shielded the second I know it sounds weird, but shielded the second one because it might have forced him to pull, pull it out quicker. You could have immediately switched to your Dragonite and then played that the same way. And granted, this is all assuming that we know what's in the back. You could have done it the same way, but it would have been closer if you would have switched immediately to, because then you would have forced it either the shield or the kill on the Shadow Machamp. And then you would have had Gary for, you'd have had your Metagross for the almost dead empty Metagross and your Gary where he needs to, like for lack of better terms, he needs to, um, 
he can't farm you down, so he needs to throw a move on you. But like I said, that was knowing what was in the back. Gyarados, Garchomp. So what's this one going to be? It's Mudshot. So 7 times 9, 63. This can be an outrage. It hurts, but like I said, it's classic. He can't farm you down. And then that, threaten the outrage. Beautiful. And then I like doing this because now I would arguably, because he has one Metagross answer, or because Garchomp with Mudshot's such a good uh, Metagross answer, I would just let this go. Personally, I would let that go and bring in Dragonite. I understand the merit of it, but that's what happens. And I, so I know that that sounds weird, but like I said, the first couple of battles that you, sh that you sent me, you had a scenario where you had a two shield Metagross and you just clean walked the person. If you wouldn't have shielded the second one, you still have that. And so, and you got rid of one of the hardest Metagross counters. So if you would have in this scenario, and like I said, I don't know what, how this is going to play out because I haven't seen this yet, but if you would have um, just let the Gary die, Bring in Dragonite. Throw that. He's going to probably bring in his Dragonite counter. So then you can just switch to your Metagross. And then just start farming. And you have a two shield Metagross with an energy advantage. And one of the biggest uh, Metagross counters out of the way already. So the minute, in my mind, the minute you see the fact that you're going to kill the big Metagross counter... Unless he's bringing two, three of them, I would literally just try to play the zero shields with that Gary and put it, put the Metagross in a position of having two shields with not a huge counter. Because like I said, Gyarados or Garchomp is a huge Metagross counter, especially Mudshot. And that I think would be the, like the big tip is if it's a Mudshot Garchomp. I would almost always play it like that because then you know he's coming to, to bust down a Metagross. So let's see what he brings in. Is that an Electivire? That's kind of scary. But I think I would go in Dragonite with this just to get raw damage. Because these, these bullet punches are resisted because of the electric typing. So he timed that well. I mean, you can't shield this. It sucks, but. Because Wild Charge hurts, but it doesn't kill. And he can't Thundershock you down. You do pull that. And there's a second. There's zero point for him to throw. There's the ice punch he that guy had and there's a Sylveon. Yeah. And I think you needed to throw meter mash right once you got it. Because you have the shield left, you're gonna die with a shield. Oh, you don't have a shield left, never mind.
Yeah. So let's let's play this out in our heads where you don't shield that second one. So then in theory, you go down, you have two shields, the electrovire comes in, or yeah, I mean, cause then you're forcing him to have switched in his, okay. So in that scenario with the, against that team, which first off, I feel like you're not going to see a Electivire that often. Secondly, if you wouldn't have put a shield to, towards Gyarados, you would have brought Dragonite in. You would have farmed it down, had a little bit of energy. He's going to bring in his Sylveon. You're immediately going to switch to your Metagross. Then you, I would personally have just farmed, wait until he threw, not shielded the first one, and I know that that's kind of crazy considering the fact that he has, um, you have two shields. I wouldn't have shielded the first one and then just started throwing meteor mashes, especially if he throws wild charge because Electivire is very glassy and he's going to have to shield. So he only had one shield. So then if you would have thrown one after he threw and like the key to this is not shielding the first one and throwing after he throws because the minute he gets himself debuffed, he's even, it's horrible for him. You could have thrown a meteor mash and it would have been deadly. So then you just do that and then shield the second two that come through and then continuously throwing meteor mashes. And then you would have probably a third health Metagross against the Sylveon without shields and then all you'd have to do is just get to the one meteor mash which you horribly outpace um to a meteor mash versus his psy shock and then you just kill the Sylveon. but like i always say this is how easy it can look once we're looking at it back all right and that was the last battle. All right, guys. All right, Mulder. I hope that that helps out a couple of things. Um, and I hope that everyone watching this, it helps out a little bit. Some of the thought processes on it. The first couple of games, like I said, Mulder, you had an energy advantage with a two shield Metagross and you just walked the person. Even in the mole, in the Excadrill scenario where you had an Excadrill in the back, you still were fine. Um, it seemed to be the ones that you lost were the ones that you kind of got wonky or you tried to put too much emphasis on your Gyarados or the ones that were close. You put a little too much emphasis on the Gyarados, especially once you got the, the Gyarados or the Metagross counter out of the way early. So, like I said, I personally would play the games that I'm seeing that way. So I hope that this helps. I hope this is what you were looking for once you reached out to me. Um, everyone, thank you for watching the video. Um, make sure check the links below. If you guys want coaching, whether you want it to be coaching like the first video that I did or coaching like this, I'm more than willing to do both of those. And you can find me at twitch.tv backslash Lord Haddock most nights of the week streaming at 2 a.m. And you can always message me at Twitter uh at twitter.com backslash lord the haddock if you guys need that anything from me let me know and i will see you next time